So here we now we have Kevin Dean, who many of you will know from the Skewsville CD that was put out how many years ago now, Kevin? 2002. That's about 17 years ago. Crazy, yeah. We had a little video message from the people who couldn't be here, from Heather Goddard, who's on that CD with you and Keith. Of course, the three of you posing on the cover that many yeah. many listeners will have it at home. Uh, when, did, when, when were you first aware of Keith? 1999, driving around in the car and heard this, uh, this character, this amazing charisma voice coming through. And I thought... And I heard that the catchphrase is being repeated every night, double time check, all, all these different things. And I, I suddenly thought it'd be great to capture this vibration, this frequency on a record, on like a, a sort of a, a trendy dance record. Um, but Which make is not it, something that maybe many people would instantly think of with Keith Skew. Well, I think so, because he's a very trendy man, isn't he? He's a trendy man. Um, so we, we, we made the record and, uh, and released it and had some fun with that. And, and Heather initially was on the, uh, the radio show answering the phone calls and doing poems and things like that and uh, she featured on, on the record as well so it was all good fun great memories working with Keith as well It's good to work on the Keith Skews show the phones are ringing here we go from truckers to cabbies, from nurses to wives, they say Keith brightens up all of their lives. The young and the old, they all ring in. It's all so busy, pass me the gin. Right across the eastern counties, it's heard. We have many listeners, they have spread the word. Talking about... Which we weren't... Now, tonight, 2020. Excuse me, Bill. with an FTP, a felt tip pen, or a BBC local radio certificate. Your name will be added to the thousands of others in our Little Red Book. Oh no, not again. <sighs> Talk amongst yourselves. And if you're not feeling too well, may I, Keith Skews, wish you a speedy recovery. And if you're living on your own, that extra special good night. God bless, many hugs, lots of love, and nighty night. Keith, having uh, spoken to you at the beginning of the evening when the surprise was still upon you, now through the magic of radio, it's probably about 50-odd minutes later, and we're at the end of the evening, several hours have passed for us. Um, are you still discombobulated, or have you gathered your thoughts? I've not got over it yet, and I don't suppose I will until probably... Can you invite me back in two weeks' time, and I'll prepare some carefully written and well rehearsed ad libs. You did quite a good speech for a man who wasn't expecting to do one. Well I wasn't expecting to do one, I didn't know what to say because David Clayton had said all the stuff beforehand and you'd all been briefed about what was going to happen. The only person who hadn't was me and I, I was just speechless and many things have happened to me during my 60 years in radio but this was the highlight in as much as people I worked with a long time ago and then you have pulled together uh, a marvellous video of people like Bob Castleton, who I used to enjoy working with. Yeah, we had video messages from Australia and Spain and all sorts. So you, you ought to be congratulated <laughs> on pulling that together. I always said that you would get, get on well in radio, and so you have done. Uh, don't try and deflect it, Keith. You're the man who deserves congratulations, not just for managing to live for 80 years. Congratulations on that, but 60 years in broadcasting. And to wrap up this special hour, this, this radio version of your party, would you like to just cue in the Golden Gate strings to finish the hour? Oh, you're doing a... Oh, you're, yeah, I'll do you a middle hour. This is a middle hour for your Oh, program. I didn't know that. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. oh, golly. What have I got to do? Just tell me. Just, just end the hour for End the middle hour for us, Keith. With what story? I don't know. Any story you like. 
Well, the Greenwich Time signal will be coming up soon. If I'm used to talking, it'll, I'll, I'll just rub it right the way to the end. I suppose we're going to have the theme tune. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe you've already got the story about how Mr. Tambourine Man came about, which was on the pirate radio stations. And it, you know, a tape was sent to me, and eventually it was released by CBS. It went to number one in the charts. I didn't get any money for that at all. But CBS Records offered me a show on Radio Luxembourg which was a guinea a minute, so you got 36 guineas. And on Radio Caroline, I was earning 12 pounds a week. And it was dry land, and it was recorded in Hartford Street. But I didn't stay there very long, because it hadn't got the camaraderie which pirate radio had, because you were living and working with all your fellow DJs and engineers. You couldn't get away from them. You were on a ship. But for that show on Luxembourg, you needed a theme tune and you got the instrumental version of Mr. Tambourine Man. I did it eventually, the um, Golden Gate Strings, who were session musicians, did it specially for me. Yeah. Well, there's lots of people waiting to say goodbye to you, Keith. You've got to leave, so we'd better finish it there. And um, you'll be back live on the radio any moment after this middle hour finishes. Well, we've got to pre-fade this. It lasts two minutes, 13 seconds, but it does end. So I'd better shut up and let the music take over. Yes? Yes. Paul, thank you very much indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, good night. Well, we un- <laughs> well, until after midnight. <laughs>